AI in Education, a balancing act for K-12 school choice. Welcome to Think Consulting, your go-to destination for insightful analysis of the tech world's most intriguing developments. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey into the realm of Microsoft's foray into the artificial intelligence world and technology and education. We'll be unraveling the promise of the AI initiatives in education while keeping a keen eye on the ground realities of its, of its performance. Join us on this captivating exploration as we dig into how one of the tech giants is navigating the ever-shifting landscape of education and artificial intelligence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Think Consulting, the place that is your source for in-depth insights into the latest news and trends that shape our world today. But before we dive into the intricacies, please remember to squeeze that like button, or click the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you are in the loop for all of our content that is coming up. Today, we are going to talk about this intersection of AI and technology and education. So please stay tuned for what's coming up ahead. Artificial intelligence, as you may be aware, has dominated the education headlines recently. Stories touting AI as either the savior or the destroyer of the education system are all over the place. AI-powered tools like virtual tutors and essay reviewers promise to enhance learning and support overburdened teachers. But at the same time, the same technology threatens to undermine assessment integrity and devalue human teaching roles that we are aware of as it stands today. The hype paints an extreme picture. The reality lies somewhere in the middle. AI, as we all know, has incredible potential to transform certain aspects of education for the better. However, it also poses some risk when deployed irresponsibly. Leaders in education need measured optimism. By focusing first on solving defined problems, AI can supplement quality teaching and expand opportunities. But the technology requires thoughtful oversight to ensure that it enhances rather than displaces the human elements that are at the center and core of learning and teaching. Let's talk about some AI tools in education. Recent advances in artificial intelligence have led to the development of a variety of AI-powered tools aimed at improving and enhancing education. Two notable examples are proofreading tools and chatbots acting as virtual research assistants. Proofreading tools utilize natural language processing to scan through students' written work and identify potential issues and errors in spelling, grammar, punctuation, and style. These tools can check for plagiarism as well as provide feedback on their drafts. Proofreading tools also allow students to improve their writing skills and submit higher quality work. Teachers also benefit from the time saved not having to meticulously comb through each student's papers. Chatbots, on the other hand, are AI programs designed to have natural conversations with users. As virtual research assistants, chatbots can understand the student's questions and provide helpful information by searching through massive databases. They act as an always available resource for students to get definitions, summaries, and other details. Chatbots like this make it easy for students to independently obtain knowledge and expand their learning. Now, what are the challenges of AI in education? AI tools like ChatGPT have brought both promise and challenges to the world of education. One major issue that has risen is AI-generated essays that often contain incorrect or fabricated information. Teachers around the world are reporting incidents of students submitting AI-written essays as their own original work. While these essays may be well-written in terms of structure, grammar, and style, they frequently include inaccurate facts, made-up statistics, and other false information. This presents a serious academic integrity issue. Teachers are also finding that they need to chat GPT proof their test and quiz questions. Because chat GPT is so adept at answering broad questions, teachers cannot simply give standard test questions and expect the responses that demonstrate a real student knowledge. Instead, teachers are revising questions to require more complex analytical thinking. That is not easily replicated by current AI. Developing quizzes and tests that thwart the use of chat GPT and other AI tutors requires additional work and training for already busy and uh, teachers that are burdened for time. Now, a major development in K-12 through education over the past few years has been the rapid growth of school choice programs across the U.S. This expansion means that more families have the ability to choose alternatives to their assigned public schools. With options like charter schools, magnet schools, private schools, 
homeschooling, online classes, online learning, and whatnot. In 2022, several states expanded their school choice programs with near universal eligibility. A lot of states, eight states, including Indiana, in North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, and whatnot, now have K-12 through choice programs that cover 90% of the students if they want to participate. And a lot of states are moving through changing these rules for the K-12 through programs. With these state-level policy changes, approximately one in five students nationwide now live in a state with widespread access to K-12 through school choice programs. The landscape today is one where around 20 million students across the country are eligible for some type of private K-12 through choice program. When you add the millions more who can get added to these charter school programs, magnet schools, or transfer to public schools outside their assigned district, the number of children with access to education options is even higher. Tens of millions of parents have the ability to consider alternatives beyond their neighborhood public school. Now, there are some challenges for parents that I want to talk about. Typically, deciding on a school or tutor or even searching and filtering for them is a daunting task that many people fear. With so many inputs like safety, quality, cost, community, convenience, extracurricular opportunities, and the school's reputation, to name just a handful, are there to be considered. With the growth of school choice programs across the country, tens of millions of parents are now looking for ways to determine what school or other education provider is best for their child. How can AI help, you might want to ask. AI tools have the potential to greatly assist parents in finding the right educational options for their children. An AI-powered bot could analyze countless sources of information on different schools to generate a customized list of options tailored to their family needs. Specifically, an AI bot could do the following. It could scan school websites, local news, government data, review websites, and more to build profiles on each school. It can also help identify key factors for each school like teacher quality, transportation, academics, athletics, safety, cost, extracurricular activities, etc. It can also allow parents to select criteria like location, class size, religious affiliation, special needs services, and more. It can also help parents filter the school options based on criteria selected to generate a personalized list of recommended schools. It can also help parents highlight relevant information on tuition assistance and eligibility for different school choice programs. It can also help continuously update the school profiles and recommendations as new information becomes available for their choice of school. I want to talk about some parental concerns about AI. Month after month, we have seen awareness and concern growing among parents with school age children. Polls conducted in November of 2022 reported 78% of parents with school age children were concerned about the potential effects of AI. Nearly 40% at least were very concerned. Findings like this reinforce what we often suspect. Parents are worried and overwhelmed. From small decisions like deciding what to pack for lunch to big decisions such as where to send their child to school. Now, high income earners and the college educated are most likely to use AI for deciding for their families. Low income families often have less access to technology and may be less likely to use or benefit from AI tools. There needs to be considerable effort to design AI tools with these users in mind and ensure that they are accessible and beneficial for less resource communities. Otherwise, the institutions, social networks, and information sources intended to help the level playing field risk leaving behind these students and these parents as we start developing these AI tools for education. We must also prioritize making them user-friendly and available to lower income families. The tool should be designed from the ground up to meet the needs and abilities of all users, not just the most tech savvy. Now, with hope and pragmatism is what I would say the future of AI technologies looks like. We should embrace with hope, caution, and a laser-focused pragmatism that is tremendously potential for AI tools to aid parents and students in navigating the growing educational landscape and personalized learning options. However, we must ensure that these tools are designed and implemented responsibly with an eye towards equitable access for all. Approaching new educational technologies thoughtfully and continuing to prioritize students' well-being and potential will allow us to embrace a future 
where AI assists but does not drive the human relationship at the heart of learning. The road ahead will require vigilance, but the destination is one of expanded horizons for students from all walks of life. Folks, the future of AI in education is a delicate balance between hope and caution. While AI has the potential to revolutionize K-12 school choice by providing invaluable guidance to parents, it also poses challenges related to accuracy, data privacy, and human-AI interactions. It's crucial to prioritize pragmatic approaches that ensure AI technology serves the best interests of the students, teachers, and their families. With responsible development and ongoing adaption based on critical feedback, AI, in my mind, can play a significant role in advancing personalized, student-centered education in the years to come. I would like to take a moment to thank you for watching this content and also remind you to click that like button and the subscribe button and stay tuned for more interesting content that's coming up ahead.